I'm making a mini album using one piece of 12 by 12 paper and embellishments and nine amazing pictures we found of my mom and dad. This is going to be a Christmas gift. Stay tuned for part one. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I am starting with some Christmas crafting and I am going to be making a one page mini album ornament using these pictures of my mom and dad for uh, for family members. So I have chosen this piece of um, lacy scrapbook paper. I am going to also use this great um, tissue paper that was gifted to me from Sherry and also some of these um, will come into play as well. Those are from a wrought iron book that I have. It's a wrought iron sample book and it's a lot of fun. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to fold my paper in half. Okay, um, double-sided paper would be ideal for this. I don't, um, for what I was looking for, I didn't find, um, I didn't find what I was looking for in double-sided. So in my stash, I'm trying to use items that I have already. Okay. So we are going to be, um, flipping this side up and I want to make sure that a picture could fit here and be framed nicely. So we're going to go and bring our, our pages up. Our little folds are going to come up at one and a quarter. Okay. So one and a quarter right here and our bone folder is right here. So this part is this is going to be the pocket that will fold up. Now I won't use the pocket on every page, but on some I might want it. So I went ahead and I kept it. <clears throat> so we did one and a quarter on each side there. We folded it up in the middle. Now we're going to go ahead and fold it up. You can see where if you had a double-sided paper, having that come up would be awesome. But you'll, you're going to see. We're going to use that wrought iron paper on the pages that we decide to use that as a flip-up. Okay, so now we want to fold our pages back. We're going to go ahead and fold it in half this way. There are several ways of doing this one page, one 12 by 12 page um, folded into a mini album. This is just one of them. Here I'm going to bring this back in and I'm just going to fold it into the center. Okay. And of course you can use your bone folder. Believe it or not, it does give you a better crease. And then we're going to come over to this side and fold it in also. Okay. And that gives us like the window effect. Okay. So next we're going to come in with our scissors and we are going to cut up this, um, This right here. Okay, so you're going to come in and cut up cutting, cutting, trying to cut straight right up and leaving that one box open. Now we're going to pull this down. Go ahead and flip your, your pockets up. Okay. 
Okay, now we are going to flip back this way. Okay, and we are going to do the same thing, accordion style, flipping the other way. Okay, so then what we end up with is we have this great little book, just like that, and we have, um, so our opening is going to be this way. And of course, if you have double-sided paper, um, you'll want to have decided which side. You can just flip it the other way um, if you like your other side of your double-sided paper bit better. So we'll be making a cover. And now, um, let's see. Okay, and our cover, we are going to use this great tissue paper. Okay, make sure, like I barely cut enough, you guys. Barely. Okay, so, um, okay, so when we open this up, we are going to, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do something strange. I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece and glue it down, and then if I don't use it, that's okay. because it can become a tag or something anyway. Okay, so now which side? This side is my good side. Oops. Okay, so we'll want some glue. I'm gonna be using my Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. I'm gonna go ahead and come up inside. I'm gonna come across my fold and then I'm going to come right across the edge here and then glue all this down. If you have a paintbrush you might want to even that out. Um, okay, put this down. I don't want to ruin my brand, my my brand new uh, table top here. <laughs> so go ahead and make sure the glue comes onto this paper. Okay, so there we go. We'll go ahead and come around and cut that. You could even have it come across the top here. Now, if you're just going to be making a whole bunch of, uh, you know, pockets and tags, you can do that. You can just fold this up. Okay. So now let's see what we've got. So this is what we'll have now as our pocket. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna wanna do the same thing to the other side. Cutting another piece of the tissue paper. Okay. 
And I, I saved this tissue because I thought it would be great for um, the Halloween book that I'm making using the um, Halloween Digitals from the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. I just wanted to make something and um, okay so here we go we're going to go ahead glue this down again I'm using the scratch paper so I don't okay whoop I'm so sorry one thing about this phone holder it, it will also hold my um, mini iPad it was my dad's it's what I used when I was um, working from his house on his desk he had this it was to hold some of the tools that he used Okay, so here we go. We have our, we've added our tissue. Of course, you can add a, um, a scrapbook paper there. You could add wrapping paper there. There are so many ways that you could decorate that. Okay, so there is, there is that. Okay, now um, I am going to want to have, uh, some of these are not going to have pockets. Okay, so this one is going to, going to come down and, you know, I have some, I don't have any of these cut out yet. Let's just cut one of these. So I printed these at wallet size. I printed all of the the nine pictures wallet size. And I only I just printed them on copy paper. Okay? So now we can have it go um, on top of this and that will give us a look or we can make a tag and it can go in. Um, so I think that that will be fine. I was trying to decide whether to keep this pocket. I think it'll be fine for that particular picture to have a pocket. Okay, I'm going to be looking for some sayings. I haven't found them yet. Um, and they, you know, they will be kind of personal. I don't think that I want, I will want to share them. But so some of these pages are going to have, have sayings or um, that kind of thing. So... Yeah, so this is really special. Um, we lost both of my parents this year, uh, within the last six months. And uh, my daughter found these pictures in a box. I had, I mean, we've, we'd all seen them before. Some of them, some of them I'd never seen. I'd never seen the umbrella one. Never seen that picture. Or I don't think I ever saw it. Okay, so here um, we can use this one as... Uh, we'll do the double pocket on this one. Okay. okay. And then here what we have is we have the two pieces coming together. Um... You can use this and have uh, something slide out of it. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and close this pocket off at the bottom. 
in case we decide to do something like that, um, or you can just close the whole thing off, okay? Okay, so I think here on this one, I'm going to go ahead and have it come down also, but I'm going to cut this one off, okay? So very carefully, I'm going to come down to the bottom. <laughs> Should have done it before. You know what? We'll let this one come down also. last one go ahead and okay so we have pockets and flips through throughout this So flip down, this one's just, this two pockets are there. This one is set up to be a flip down. I don't know yet if it's going to be a flip down. And this one is set up to be a flip down. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go cut these pictures and I'll be right back. Okay. I've cut out the pictures. I also cut out two pieces of file folder to use for the front and the back. They're just a sliver bigger than, the, than this is. I'm going to go ahead and at least for the cover, we'll go ahead and get it started. So it can start drying. Okay. Oh. Well, by going a sliver bigger. Well, I was going to fold it around, but I don't end up having enough for folding it around. I'll save that. Might be able to use that somewhere. So I'm using my Teresa Collins. These scissors are like Teflon or something. They're too to be used with um, sticky, sticky stuff. Okay, so there it's just going to fit right on to my cover. Right on, just like that. Okay, and... So, let's see, it's a little, okay, 
so I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. We'll wait. We will wait. Um, I'm going to have to put some lace. I, I, it ends up a little small. And you guys, I really don't want to... Oh, we'll be okay because we've got that going on. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I say things don't stick and then that's stuck. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and put our cover on here. Getting it as close to the edge as I can get it. Okay, so this is the picture that I have for the front cover, and I want to make sure that my cover is going to be staying down, right? Okay, so that is what we have there, and let's see, I do have... this. Yeah. <clears throat> I go ahead and glue around the outside edge. Again, as close as I can to the edge. And then framing it. side this piece I love these pictures of my mom and dad I love that some of them my, my I, I don't know how they got him to stand um, my dad was had polio at 14 he got polio and um, so he he wore, he used crutches most of his life um, until he went into the cart and started using one of those scooter cart things. Okay, so here before I do this, I want to make sure that I've trimmed this edge off. So this will be the cover. Um, I'm still trying to decide whether to add red embellishments. Um, I was planning on it, but I'm thinking that, um, you know, not everybody uses red and green in their Christmas. And um, they might want to actually keep this out somewhere. So... Um, so I'm thinking maybe no embellishments. Now the other thing I have here is I have the um, one of the reclaimed wedding dresses. I have some of these in my shop 
the applique sets. I have taken also some of them in coffee dyed and in my personal collection. So uh, the ones that are not coffee dyed, there are some in the Etsy shop and um, in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. So you get a variety of those. So, um, okay, well that, that's going to be our cover and try all the different things oh I like that okay I like that that's an easy easy fix to that bottom <laughs> washi tape is <laughs> almost always a good idea okay let's go ahead and cut the edges Also gives some reinforcement to that flip there. But best of all, it fixes what I did to the, the front. Okay. I do have this bling. From Michaels. This is my favorite. And I'm going to cut off the three pot the pre three pieces, the dot dot dot. So, um, let's see. So, next we have this. Now, I don't know. I might frame most of them just because I really like the way they look framed. And this could just sit in here, um, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue it in. But I'm going to add some bling 
We all love this picture. And those shoes are really similar to the shoes that I wore when I married Tom. So that was kind of cool. So Amber has these pictures. I need to find out if they tell us on the back what they are. Um, if they do, I may add those, the copies of what it says on the back into these. Again, these are going to be Christmas gift. And then we're going to cut this just a sliver. If you cut the sliver out like this, this little sliver, then um, you don't have trouble with it um, up against the next one. So here we have this. And this one is going to go into a pocket. And I kind of like that... It will be a little shorter than what we have here. Okay, that's bothering me, it's not straight. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so we'll need some more black paper. And on these tags, you can make them look like, you know, pretty with like a tag. I'm just going to go ahead and make it look like a framed picture. Literally, I could have just framed all these and cut them out, huh? So here's another one where you don't see my dad's crutches. So that was kind of, kind of, um, kind of cool to see my dad without, without crutches. Okay. Okay. So here, um, I think we need a little bit of the washi tape. Maybe up underneath where this will end up. Okay, so this goes in like this, and we have just a little bit of washi tape up at the top, and then dot 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 put the dot 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 down here okay so that gives us three of the nine pictures then we have mom and dad I think these are their senior pictures I have seen these before I'm pretty sure amazing how you can or how I have forgotten things. Okay, I can't find the one I was working with, so we'll just move on to the next black paper. Okay, so I'm going to frame these and they're going to sit over the top of the pockets on this page. Okay. So framed mom. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put in all the pictures and then I'll come back. Well, that'll be part one and then we'll come back and decorate in part two. Okay, you guys, I just, I have, um, I have taken everything that I can off my phone and I still don't have very much memory. Um, 
things that are still on there. Uh, I need them to be there. I'm not ready to have some of those pictures taken out of my phone. A lot of pictures, okay? So, like thousands, but... Here we go. Daddy O. And the first one always takes the longest. I'll be able to to make the others quickly. Um, again, I was making sure that I am using things that I have enough to make several of these. But I'll th I think they'll make a nice little gift. Okay, I'm putting it up there. Okay. Okay, so now on this, I want to make sure you see how my mom is facing in this way and my dad is facing this way. So I am um, going to utilize that. And make sure that I have them both looking in towards the center. That helps hold, it's a scientific thing, helps hold your interest on the page. Um, so if you're putting down pictures and you have them, they kind of act like a pinball, is how I think of it. So pinball, she's looking this way, he's looking that way. So we just, we keep looking back and forth and we stay on the page with interest okay so we're just going to go ahead and add these right on top of the pockets Okay, next we have two pictures from the same day. Now, we have a thing. My mom is looking. <laughs> Love this. She looks just like my sister there. That was, that was a fun find that we found this picture where she looks so much like my sister, Shelly. So we're going to do the, the up and down again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the corner rounder out we're going to round the corner of this little it doesn't want to go in That one doesn't look so round. And it wasn't even the hard one to get in. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put this one here. As you can see, both of them, she's looking across. And, of course, my dad's looking up at my dad's looking at the camera. My mom's looking across. So I think on this one, we'll go ahead and add some washi tape to the edge. Just for something different. Okay, and then turn it over to, to, to cut it. Be 
you know what I think I might put in this this pocket here is a picture of mom and dad like their 50th wedding anniversary picture or something I think okay so now if we come here and what we can do is okay, let's go ahead put our glue on here And we're going to go ahead and frame this, this little piece. Okay, so we've got our little frame here. This is how you use up your scraps. <laughs> then, or one way, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue all of it. Okay, and then after this, we're gonna um, we're gonna go and we'll be back with the last three pictures and decorating because I think I'm about out of okay. So we'll hold that in. So I'm gonna mount that and um, put it back in the pocket. And then we'll be back. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Part two. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an amazing day. Bye.